Hi, it's Tracy from Launch Tech Made Easy. I was talking to somebody today who told me that they didn't need to have an email list to launch their course because they have a really big social media following. And well, that may be the, the case. There's always, you know, the exception to every rule. I wanted to quickly let you know why I believe that an email list is the best way, an engaged email list is the best way for you to have a solid launch. Because I've helped a lot of people with their online course and membership launches. And the reality is it can be really hard to convert social media followers and likes into buyers. Sure. It can happen. And there are a lot of people who do Facebook live launches now, or they do video launches on YouTube, those types of things, and knock it out of the park. But the reality is they almost always also have an email list of really engaged people that they can send information to. The truth of the matter is that no matter how big your following is, not every person is going to see everything that you post online. It's really hit or miss, or um, not online, but um, in, in their social media channel, channels. They might be at work. They might be at a kid's soccer game. Or maybe that day the algorithm decides that they don't really need to see what you're offering. And so if you only have a social media following and you are relying on that to have your great big launch, there's a very good chance you're going to be disappointed. Now, if you do have a significant social media following, there are ways to bring people from that social media challenge over to your list so that you can email to them. And one of the best ways to do that is to offer them some kind of really amazing content that they need to opt into your email list to receive. And then offer that content with an opt-in form and a landing page on the social media channel. So for example, I have a launch checklist that lists out all of the tasks that you need to go through when you're getting ready to launch online. If I want the people on my Facebook page to convert to my email list, one of the things I can do is I can post about that launch checklist on my Facebook page with a link for them to opt in to receive it. That way, they are on Facebook or Instagram or wherever they happen to be following me and they see what I'm offering in that channel, but I'm also collecting their email address so that if I decide that I want to sell a product or offer um, a video or something to them, I can send it to them via email. And it's a lot more likely to wind up in their email inbox than it is to actually show up in their newsfeed or on their Instagram or whatever. So that's why it's a really good idea to have an email list. So those of you who have tremendous social media followings, kudos to you. That's amazing. Make sure that you're periodically offering those people who follow you something that will get them to really want to give you their email address so that you can collect those emails and you can eventually use those emails to sell to them. Once you have them on your email list, you also wanna make sure that you use those emails periodically to send them things, to keep the list warm, to make them really start to know, like, and trust you for more than just your social media presence. Make sure that you're sending them things that will continue to add to their life and give them value so that they know, like, and trust you even more on a different media channel, their email, and that they are likely to open your emails and see what you have to say. So. If you want to have a very successful launch, yes, you do want to have a social media, media following, but even more important is a really engaged email list. For more tips like these, or even if you want to check out my launch checklist, you can pop into the area right below this video and you'll find a link. Bye-bye.